Hey, my name is Daniel Feldroy, and a few days ago, I released a video on how to create custom user types with Django, where you have different user types for a Django model. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom data fields to each one of those types. So let's do it. Let's go. We're back in our secret agent social network, SpyBook, and we're going to add the ability for drivers to have different types of cars. And to do that, we're going to create a model that allows us to specify in our database what kind of car they have. Now to begin with, we're going to create a class called driver more, and this is going to inherit directly from models.model. You could use timestamp model if you want. And then we're going to give it a relationship back to the user. That's a one to one relationship. So this isn't a proxy model. This is a real table that's going to be in your database. So I'm going to type out cascade here. And then once I get to fields, so I'm going to be adding the model. If we're talking about Toyota, these model would be Camry, Corolla, that kind of thing. And the make, of course, is in this case, we have a Toyota. So I'm going to change where I copied it to say make, or I'm going to change it to say make. And finally, I'm going to add the year that the car was released or constructed and that we're just going to give it a simple integer field. Next, I'm going to add a property. And this property, we're going to call it more. Our convention is going to be called to call this more for all of our proxy models. I'm just going to type out a very simple property method, and it's going to refer back to driver more, which will be the database representation of the driver more class that we have. Now we're going to jump into our shell. And first of all, I'm going to show that yes, I'm still in the system. Hold on, let me just type my there. So I'm I'm a spy. And for drivers in our database, we have my wife, Audrey and my daughter, Uma. Now let's go fetch let's go fetch Audrey as our driver, our first driver, and then Uma is the last driver or the second in, in our very small database instance. So now we have both driver records, Audrey and Uma, and we're gonna construct a driver more record for each one of them using driver more.objects.create. And that's gonna be hitting the model manager, so it's gonna save immediately. So we're going to, Audrey is our user, the make is going to be Toyota, she is driving a Corolla, and the year of the car is 2013, which is incidentally the year that we got married. We're also going to add a record for Uma, and for Uma, I think what we'll give her, since this is a fantastical universe, we're going to have her drive a Tesla. Yes, she is only 18 months old, but we are going to give her a Model X. And I think let's give her a 2020 model while we're at it. All right, let's try it out. And we will try it out on Audrey first. And we're going to look up her more record. You can see she does have a driver year, more record. And her car is a 2013. And it is a 2013 Corolla and the manufacturer of that is Toyota. And similarly, we could look up Uma's information. We're just gonna get the year. And then here's one of my favorite features. We can also query on this data. So here we're doing a search on driver.objects.filter. We're specifying the driver more data, and then we can give it a year of 2020. So now we know that all drivers with a year of 2020 will show up in our filter set. And we can do the same thing for other fields. What about some alternative approaches for doing this, such as putting all the fields into the main user model? And that's where I've gone up to. Like for example, I could put the year, the model, and the make right into the main user model. I could do that also for the spy model. And if we add a bunch of other 
user types, we could include all those fields here. And this is certainly a, an approach that I have taken in the past. A, a lot of people will have done similar things to this. There are a few challenges f for this. One is that it's verbose. We have to prefix each field with the name. And also what happens if you have 20 to 30 different user types? Or, or what if you have only five user types but you might have 20 to 30 fields each. Or what if you have 20 to 30 user types each with 20 fields? So all of a sudden your database table can become huge. Another approach of course is JSON fields where you stick all of your specific custom user data into your JSON field. Then you lose constraints if that, and if that's something that you don't care about, you're still having to prefix all of your fields with the different type of data that it represents. And that can really slow things down, just like adding all those other fields. Another problem with the JSON field approach, as much as I love JSON fields, is that then we need to write custom handlers for forms as well as for uh, serializers if you're using Django REST framework. Now, I'm not saying that it isn't possible. I'm just saying that it's a lot of extra work. Oh, one more thing. Before I finish up, I want to show that I, I did have a spy more field or spy more table that I wanted to put together. And here, uh, again, if you see me go down to the driver more table, I'm literally going to copy and paste the same field in and I'm going to spies get gadgets. I've always wanted to have a laser pen. I know that's something I can buy in a store, but if I were a spy, I, I would do creative things with laser pens. I hope you found this video useful. Please like it. And of course, there's subscriptions. I do like it when people subscribe to my channel. And of course, there's comments. If you have any questions or commentary, please share it in the comments below. For example, why did I choose more instead of extra as my property name or uh, the suffix to the models? And so, for example, why didn't I do driver extra instead of driver more. That's a That would be an interesting thing to talk about in the comments. Also, uh, coming up next month, I have a, another live online class. You can read about it in the description to this video. I hope to see you there. Bye. Ah.